Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl Strom here, back for another Let's Play episode of the Dofus on the Shadow server. Today we're going to be conquering the Lava Dungeon, which is the next dungeon to do in the Master's Henchman quest. Now, to access this dungeon, you're going to have to have a little golden lava, and to get one of them, you must drop one of the golden lava eggs. To drop a golden lava egg, it's not too difficult. All you've got to do is basically defeat any of the lavas, and you have a 4% chance with each lava. So realistically, my idea would be to complete the achievement for the lava, um, which isn't too difficult. And once that is done, um, you will pretty much guarantee the golden lava drop. Now, once you have one, this is essentially the key to enter the dungeon. You want to come just south of Astrub. It's not too far. You want to follow this path all the way down and then take a left through the cemetery like this. And you'll you can you might as well grab this sap as well. So it's just under the tree canyon forest, and then you have to wrap yourself around the crackle mountain until you get down here. Now you're going to be <coughs> it's on the map minus two minus five, and you're basically going to be interacting with this cave here. So what I'm going to do is just <coughs> enter the cave, and here we are. So we have two. Oh, they changed it. So there used to be two options. You used to be able to used to be able to go down, and now I believe it's just this way. So you shouldn't get too lost. <coughs> Lava dungeon is quite an easy dungeon for the level. Um, from what I remember, you just got to be very wary that the ability power rip. Ooh, there's a lot of iron here. I'm just gonna quickly mine all this. So yeah, you got to be really vigilant. Um, in regards to the AP raping mechanic, which the boss can can actually do. I think it can take quite a lot of AP away, which can be an issue in some cases, but thankfully we have our Eni and our Sadida to deal with them. So while my Sakura just mines up this lovely iron, <coughs> we do need some iron, we need to level up our miner. I'm just going to run the rest of my characters down to the dungeon entrance. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you're enjoying the if you're enjoying the Let's Play, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. On the last episode, we have made we had major upgrades in regards to the equipment, and essentially what I've been doing is just upgrading the equipment as well off camera. So <coughs> I'll quickly show you. Now, last episode we managed to get the cocoa blob set for our Sakura, which was perfect, and we also managed to get a 58 jewel mages which is brilliant so now we can mage our gear past level 50 and what I did was vitality merged my amulet and also my ring wasn't too difficult vitality is probably the easiest mage to over merge so yeah we've got that going we're going to be doing that for all of our characters when I have enough money to do so because merging on this server is very expensive just use the fact that there is um, many Items being crafted because of the drop rates, so yeah, just got to bear me, bear with me for that. We have reached level eighty on the Sakura, as well as mid sixties on each other character. <coughs> what this means is level eighty, we can basically equip the royal set. So I don't think it's worth vitality merging these two pieces, considering we are level eighty. We just need to be focusing on getting these guys. Um, higher so we can farm the royal blop dungeon <coughs> i think we could do it now but i just it's better safe than sorry i don't want to risk it and i'm not sure if it comes up as a quest later on so here we are this is the dungeon entrance and all you've got to do is have the golden lava equipped and when you know it's equipped you'll have this little icon at the top of your screen and you basically just click the gate and God of Lava will go, and you have entered the dungeon. So, <coughs> this this dungeon is basically full of lava. Now, the lava that you will find in here, you can't find anywhere else. Um, there are different types of lava in regards to emerald, ruby, sapphire, and emerald, ruby, sapphire, and also the shin lava, which is the boss. I'm just going to lower the dofus volume down a bit. 
Sweet, so let's just go through this dungeon. <clears throat> there is some mechanics that you you will need to know. Um, you do need to run this dungeon with two people, and we will get to that in a second. So the reason why you need to run that with two people is there are two slabs, um, and these slabs need to be need to have pressure on them, which means a player needs to be standing on them slabs. So, yeah, I would you minimum you have to have two people. Um, Because you won't be able to get through the rest of the dungeon. I think it's the same with the Bulbig dungeon, I believe, if I remember. Um, and we won't be doing that dungeon for a while yet. <coughs> yeah, so as you can see, they don't hit too high. It's just they have the ability to take away your, uh, your action points, which can be quite detrimental in fights. So we're just going to do the, chal do the, achieve the challenge, which is dual. So each one is going to have one larvae. We did reach level 60 on our Sedida. So now we have access to aggressive bramble, which is brilliant. <coughs> so we could probably finish off this larvae. And also this one. Mm, one more turn for this one, unfortunately. So our Echo Flip's going to be taking a stupid amount of damage. And there we go, that's dual complete. So yeah, you do get some really nice drops. Drops to look out for, I believe, are the Tooths. Um, yeah, there we are. So the Sapphire Lava Tooths, because that's used to make Dazzling Cloaks. Um, really good item for low level. If we can make a few of those, I'll probably have one on each of the characters. Um, also, obviously, try and Vitality Mage it. So, yeah. <coughs> the next part of the dungeon basically splits off into two sectors. So, it's really good that I've managed to make a four-man team, because that means I can do two and two. So, the two I'm going to choose is probably going to be the Sedida and the Echo Flip, and my Sacria and the Eni. Just because one has a high damage output, and yeah, we've got to be really quick about this because the door shuts. You know, we're not we're not gonna um, be able to do it. Okay, so we're just gonna do one at a time. You know, we don't have to rush this. So this will shut. You guys can't see this on my screen because I'm doing it on the other characters. There we go. <coughs> okay, so if I just check the achievements, and we go into monsters, big lava, this is the one we're after. So yeah, golden lava is the only one we need to be focusing on for challenge. Um, obviously, if we can do the challenge, that'll be amazing. Um, because it's more XP, more drops. It's going to be very confusing because I'm in two different fights. With two different players. Yeah, I'm just going to whiz through this one. There we go. So it wasn't too f difficult. I think we have to do two of them fights. Okay, so the Emerald Tooths are quite important too.
Sweet. So in this room, we all meet up again. So I'm just going to have to quickly finish this fight on the Echo Flip. There we go. And then we're back together. I think we do it one more time. I'm not, I don't quite remember. So yeah, after these dungeons have been accomplished, I'm probably going to be trying to get uh, Jelenos. And what Jeleno is, it's basically a level 60 ring, which gives the user one action point. It's a very, very nice ring. Um, and if we go on to my... Just click to his turn. If you go into the encyclopedia and type in Gelenon, here you can see 1 AP and it has no, um, what's the word, prerequisites, you can literally just equip it. It never used to be part of a set which made it really OP back in the day because you could just equip two. <coughs> this was a long time ago I believe. I really love all or nothing. If you use it at the correct times, it's ridiculously strong. Because if I basically finish this this game off in this turn, my echo flip doesn't take any damage, and I've just damaged each enemy about two hundred. And it looks like we should be on. There we go. Yeah, so we do split off again. Um, I'll just quickly show you what I mean by the Jelena <coughs> and the items needed to make it. So if we go into our recipes, as you can see, we need 100 red and 100 strawberry. And then we also need two of each royal. It seems like a lot of a lot of mats. Um, <coughs> but I think if we go into our... Yeah... So all these jelly um, achievements, basically, we have to be level 60, so we're all level 60, which is brilliant. And if we do each challenge, achievement, sorry, we get one of the royal on each character. Now obviously there's going to be one, two, three, there's going to be about five. So we can get four royal jellies on each character, which is, you know, it's more than enough really. <clears throat> and also if we're going to the jellies, yeah. So if we do the jelly one, which we probably will do, we get a multi jelly which is used to teleport into a dungeon. Um we're actually gonna need one of them on each character. They only look about five thousand each, so it's not too difficult. Um But yeah, it's a really fun dungeon to do. You can actually fight all of the royals in one fight, same as the blop dungeon. Um It'll probably be the way we will do it, just use for the fact that we have a nice amount of damage output for each character, each element. Um, so I'm just going to quickly... Oh. Yeah, this dungeon has, I believe, 10 rooms, if I remember correctly. But it's not too difficult, <clears throat> as you can see. Obviously, I'd recommend running this with a team rather than just multi accounting it. It's just, it can get very tedious and very annoying. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. So.
Oops. Not too fussed about filling these challenges, just because we need to be focusing on a challenge in the main room, because that's where the golden lava is. <coughs> Gonna finish off this um, fight on the Echo Flip, just so it fall behind. Sweet. So we've got level sixty-five on the Echo Flip. That means our roulette has leveled up to level 2. Perfect, so we're in the boss room now. <clears throat> Just going to wait for the egg flip to finish a fight. Not too long. There we go. Perfect, so we're going to look, quickly look at the achievements that we might be able to do. <clears throat> okay, nice. So we get a lot of Shin Lava Skin if we're doing one achievement. Ten specifically. Um. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's fine. So we get 10 per achievement. Obviously if we do that on every character that's going to be a lot. Um, small golden pearls are quite useful because they're used in a lot of crafting materials. So the achievements are Impertinence. Oh no it's not that severe. <laughs> that's a, a far higher dungeon. We don't want to be doing that one. So we've got Versatile which is very possible. Um, characters must not use the same matchup more than once and Limpwist, which characters must not end their cell adjacent to an adversary. So yeah, we can do both. Um, how I'm going to do this is basically go, is use the Sacria's abil ability to dodge and lock um, to get close to each enemy and then finish them off. Golden Lava is also in this dungeon, in this um, floor, <clears throat> which we need to do, because if we do the challenge as well as the achievements, we're going to get a stupid amount of XP, I'm also going to finish the uh, big lava achievement as well so we could get a lot of xp and a lot of money and a lot of achievements from this one fight brilliant okay so i'm just going to make sure if everyone's healed up and i feel i believe we are good to go yep sweet so let's do this <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is because the golden lava is going to start there. I'm going to put the city down at the bottom. The um, actually, I should swap. Yeah. 
So we're just gonna focus on buffing the Sakura. I, I think that's a good idea. Um, obviously, can't use the same cell, same move twice, and we can't end next to an ally. Okay, so we, we haven't done them yet. We might be able to do sharing, which would be a good challenge to do. Um, yeah, that looks fine to me. Let's actually not summon a roulette. It can be quite risky. Right, so let me just double check these achievements so I don't fail straight away. Okay, so it's adversary, so it's the enemy. Okay. So if I move... Yeah, so I can basically dodge this. So I can hit it. Summon a sword. And move back one. So I'm not ending next to the enemy. So we've locked the Shin Lava and we've locked the Golden Lava with the sword. Now we're going to basically just buff up our Sakura with ability power. Action points, sorry. <laughs> I keep doing that. And we haven't used the same move twice, that's good. Our Sedida is going to basically summon the Mad Doll from afar. And gain the ability to attack multiple enemies at once. Um, also going to summon the Sacrificial Doll. I believe we've got four summons on this Sedida now, which is good. Okay, so that's the spell you've got to look out for. I believe the Shin Lava can one hit KO, <coughs> which is why we need to basically just stay away. <laughs> um. Okay, so we can't do too much in terms of attacking now because, although, if we move there, we can bluff the bl Ruby Lava and. Let's get some damage off. Need to be careful about the Shin Lava getting too close to us because it can when it kills us. Which I did forget, I'm not going to lie. I've got 13 AP. I can actually transposition, which will be good. Um. Hmm. So I'm going to attract the Golden, finish it off. And then, yeah, swap with the sacrificial doll. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just give AP to our echo flip. And I don't really want to summon. Chafer, but if it crits, yes, perfect. I was just going to say, if it crits, then we obviously do want to summon it, because a crit, critting on Chafer is really, really effective. It's really strong. Look at the resistances of 45. Okay, so <clears throat> I can't hit anything from here, so I'm just going to set up for next turn by getting some trees out. And... Hmm... I don't want to summon another one to be honest. Yeah, we can't really do much since we can't move or hit. So we get 2 MP from the inflatable. Perfect. So the sacrificial doll did some nice damage. We managed to infect the Shin Lava, which is nice. So we're going to Clover to ensure we crit. Um, I don't really think I should go for that. We have got Reflex, which we can use. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to have to end it there. Okay, so this is going to be a nice amount of damage on both. Yeah, it's a shame I can't use the same move twice because we could have actually just finished it off there and then. Um, it's not a big deal, we'll just move away and then wait till next turn. Yeah, 
There we are. So Chafer. Now you can see you can attack both. Reduces MP, which is brilliant, and it also deals a nice amount of damage. Um, oh, brilliant. So we can actually hit the Shin Lava. Which is nice. And potentially... Just pass. Okay, so what's good here is we're just going to go for an all or nothing. Um, we are so close to defeating the Shin Lava. Hmm. Yeah, but Sakura is going to finish it off anyway, so we've, we've basically just beaten the Nice one. So let's hope that was every achievement that we wanted. I think it was. Yep, yeah, unfortunately we didn't do the challenge. I'm not too fussed about it. We need to come back and do duo anyways. Um, I was scared about the fact that I thought the Shin Lava could one-hit KOs, but I'm certain it can't after seeing that. I, I just think it, it one-hit KO my... Um, the sword, was it? Or something? And I assumed that it would one-hit KO me, so I just wanted to be a bit on the safe side. So yeah, from that... We got a nice amount of drops. And obviously we get this times three, or times four even. Um, so yeah, Dazzling Cloaks are getting really close. Basically we only need the Bullbush Leafs, um, because of the, the scalps aren't too hard to get, but they are quite higher level. As we have to fight level 82 to 90 um, Hawks. But the Leafs, which is the one of the highest amount of items we need, they are dropped from bull bushes um, and they're not too rare you know 40% drop rate and we also can get them through doing the dungeon as well so yeah we got, we got about 19,000 karmas just from that fight um, again we just accept it on every single character oh we get some really nice um, increases on our spells as well for each level 65 sweet Nice one. So there we go. We've done a Shin Lava Dungeon. The next thing to do is to just go talk to Jumbo Mumbo. And then the next quest in the line. As you can see, we're getting really nice XP from these um, quests. So I do advise doing them if you guys haven't already. <clears throat> also, the guild is looking quite good. We've got a fair few members now. Um, if you are looking for a guild on the Shadow server that speaks mostly in English, just hit me up a PM. We do have a nice little Discord, so if you want to come chat, please feel free to do so. So yeah guys, stay tuned for the next episode and I hope you enjoyed this one.